Hi friends, it's time for class. If we haven't met before, I'm Mrs. Kamen. If we have met, hi friends, it's great to see you and I'm so glad you're here. Now, if you've been in my class before, then you know I like to sing and I love to start with the morning song. Will you sing it with me? Okay, here we go. Good morning, Lord. It's gonna be a great day. I'm gonna learn and I'm gonna play. I've got my friends to help me along and I've got you. So I'm singing this song. What are we gonna learn about today? I'll give you a hint. It's part of our body. It's inside of our heads and it's working right now. Think. do I think with? My brain. Our brain. Our brain. The brain? Why would we learn about the brain? Well, with your brain, you can learn anything. Yes, anything. Because God gave you a brain to learn about him and this great big world that he put you in. I know you're fearfully and wonderfully made. And so you should be good Good, good to your beautiful brain. Will you be good to your brain? Good to your brain, good to your brain. Will you be good to your brain? Good to your brain, good to your brain. You will? Great, because he put this brain right inside your head, tells you to eat or to go to bed, helps you remember all your friends' names or how to play, play, play your favorite game. So please be good to your brain, good to your brain, good to your brain. Will you be good to your brain, good to your brain, good to your brain? Will you be good to your brain? How can you be good to your brain? That's a great question. The first thing we can do to be good to our brains is feed our brains. Do brains get hungry? Not that kind of feed. We can feed our bodies to feed our brains. And our brains love healthy fruits and veggies. What's your favorite fruit? Yum. How about vegetables? Sounds delicious. Do you know what is really yummy brain food? Blueberries. I love apples and sweet potatoes. Have you ever had a sweet potato? Mmm, they are so good. Lola even likes sweet potatoes and carrots. Yeah, she's a healthy dog and she's feeding her brain. The second thing we can do to be good to our brain, protect it. How do I protect my brain? Well, if you play a sport that could be hard on your head or you ride a bike or a scooter or skates, wear a helmet, that's right. Wearing a helmet can protect your brain. Do you know a sport that wears helmets? Football or hockey, even baseball players, when they're up to bat, wear a helmet to protect their heads. That's good thinking. Okay, the third thing you can do to be good to your brain, give your brain a workout. Do brains like to do push-ups? Not that kind of workout. You can give your brain a workout by doing puzzles, games, art, or music. Do you like to do puzzles? Maybe put together Legos, play with magnet tiles, play a board game with your family, sing, play an instrument, do some art, draw, paint. Those are all amazing ways to be good to your brain. Okay, the fourth way that you can be good to your brain is move your body. Moving your body is good for your brain. It helps make your body strong and healthy and your brain. What's your favorite way to move your body? Oh, that looks like fun. <laughs> you could hop up and down. You could play head, shoulders, knees, and toes. You could play Simon Says. I'm gonna show you a really easy way to move your body that is super good for your brain. Where are your ears? Here's mine. There's one. And there's the other. 
take my hands and I'm gonna cross my body with my hands and find my other ear. Do you see my hand went across my body? And with my other hand, I'll go across my body, find the other ear. Now I can do that with my shoulders, my elbows, and I can work my way down to my knees and my toes. Anytime we're crossing our body like that, it helps our brain work harder. And that helps our brain grow. Are brains a bright blue color like this? No, they're not. This is a toy that I bought. You could buy one too if you wanted to learn more about the brain. This one is squishy and it opens up. And it sticks back together with what? How is it doing that? Magnets. Have you played with magnets before? Or maybe magnetiles? I love playing with those. What's cool is they stick together. They're connected. And God made us for connection. He wants us connected to him and to the people around us. Who's someone in your family? Yes, you're connected to them. And you might be connected to a class, a team, your neighbors, your community. Those are people God put in your life to be connected to. Just like those magnets are connected. When we're connected to people, we think about them. We feel feelings for them. We talk to them. We listen to what they have to say. We care about them. And that's made possible because of our big, beautiful brain. Okay, let's open this up and see what's inside. I see lots of parts of the brain. Now, this doesn't have all of the parts of the brain. This is just a simple toy to get started. And I think it's great to start small when you're learning something new. So we're gonna start small with three main parts of the brain. Three in one. That made me think of God. Three in one. Have you heard that before about God? That he's three in one? Can you put up a three? And a one? Yes, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, three in one. Just like we have three main parts of one beautiful brain. Let's find out more of how we use our brain and the different parts and what they do. Before we start learning, I like to put on my thinking cap. My thinking cap is the way I like to think about my brain. My brain is already in there, but I like to tap, tap, tap on it and just tell it I'm ready to learn. Tap, 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 put on my thinking cap. Let's do that together. Tap, 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 put on my thinking cap. Oh, wait a second. I have a thinking cap to show you. Here it is. It's my thinking cap. Oh, someone made this to look like a brain and I love it so much. So it's my thinking cap. I'm gonna keep this on while I teach you about the brain. So the brain that you have right inside your head right now is working. You can't see it, you can't feel it, but it's working. That's just the way it is with God. We know he's always working, he never stops. Okay, the first part of the brain I wanna teach you about is the cerebrum. Cerebrum. Let's open up this brain and see where the cerebrum is. Right up front, there's the cerebrum. Now, when I heard the word cerebrum, I thought of a person. Sir, cerebrum. Cerebrum is like the boss of the brain, and he has to tell his workers, the four lobes, what to do. And when they do their jobs, they say, yes, sir, cerebrum. So this song is to the tune of the Noble Duke of York. Have you heard that song before? It goes like this. The Noble Duke of York. He had 10,000 men, he marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. Oh, look who's here. It's Lola. Hi, Lola. Lola, did you wanna come and be in the class too? Okay. 
Okay, where's your brain? Oh, I'll talk to her about it later. Cerebrum is the big brain. He knows just what to say. He helps me see and hear things or smell or touch or taste. You can find him way up front. He has two equal sides. He helps me plan my days and what I do at night. Cerebrum. Cerebrum, way up front, right up here. Do you see it? <laughs> tap the front of your brain. Tap, tap, tap. Say, hi, Cerebrum. Cerebrum has a big job to do. Did you notice in that song that he helps with our senses? Is your Cerebrum working right now? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Then your Cerebrum's working. Nice job, Cerebrum. What is something you can see where you are right now? Me? You're right. What else can you see? And is there something you can hear? Me again. Yeah, you're listening to me. Maybe something else is happening around you that you can hear. Something outside. Something in the room that you're in. What is something that you can smell? <laughs> What is something that you can touch? Oh, you can touch your head. <laughs> What's something you can taste? Maybe you can have that for a snack. Let's find out who else has a job in the brain. Let's open it up and look inside. We already talked about the front of the brain, cerebrum. Let's look at the back of the brain, the cerebellum, cerebellum. Now, when I heard that word, I thought of another person, Sarah Bellum. Does that sound like a girl's name, Sarah? Do you know anyone named Sarah? I do. I have some friends named Sarah. So let's close this back up and look at our brain. This is the cerebellum in the back of the brain. Let's find out what the cerebellum does. This song is to the tune of the Oscar Mayer jingle. Sarah Bellum is the little brain. She helps me move or stand. Oh, I can kick a football or catch one with my hands. She helps me balance on my toes and touch my fingers to my nose. Sarah Bellum makes my day by helping me go run and play. Sarah Bellum, you have a big job. You help me run and play and move and stand and balance. Have you ever tried to balance on one foot? Oh, have you ever played head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes? You have? Then your cerebellum was working extra hard that day. Thanks, cerebellum. Okay, Lola, are you ready to learn about the last part of the brain? Give me a high five. Thank you. Okay, here we go. We started in the front of the brain with cerebrum and in the back of the brain, the Sarah Bellum. Now we need this little part right here, and it is the brain stem. What else has a stem? A flower? Yes, the brain has a stem too. Isn't that cool? And it's little, but it has a big job to do. Let's find out the name of the brain stem. Medulla. Let's say that together. Medulla. Medulla. Let's put this back together and look at it on the brain. There it is. Here's another song. And this is to the tune of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Have you ever been to a baseball game? If you have, or you've seen one on TV, then you probably heard this song. Medulla is the brain stem. She's small, but don't count her out. Without her, we couldn't breathe. She helps us cough and she makes us sneeze. Achoo! She tells our hearts to keep beating and where our blood should flow to. Oh, she's one small stem of the brain with a big job to do. Wow, the medulla does all that? Are you breathing? Is your heart beating? Yes. Did you have to tell your body to do that? No. You know why? 
because the medulla did it for you. Isn't that amazing? God put that brainstem in there to tell us to breathe or cough or sneeze, to get the blood where it needs to go in our body and to keep our hearts beating. All of those things just happen because God made it so. Medulla is pretty cool and I'm glad that God put it in there. Okay, now that we learned about three main parts of one amazing and beautiful brain, let's find out if you remember. Now, before I ask you a question, just know it's okay if you don't know the answer. It's okay not to know things. We're all learning. Little learners, big learners. We started with the cerebrum. And in the back of the brain, we have cerebellum. That brain stem is called the medulla. Medulla. Yes, that was awesome. Everybody kiss your brain. Thanks, brain. Thanks, brain. Remember, God wants us to be connected to him, to each other. Keep making those connections. Keep learning new things. Be good to your brain. And come back next time so we can learn something new and make our brains grow. Remember, friends, you can learn anything. Check out my other videos to see what else you'd like to learn about. And come back next time when we'll learn something new and make our brains grow. Bye, little learners. Lola wanted to wear the brain hat. <laughs>